there geeks welcome back to another episode of zany laney are you noticing that this is now a value pack of testosterone for you yeah Laney's having a few issues so uh it's gonna be us guys now what do we have for them today uh we are going to go through nerd block i got that in the mail this month nerd block is similar to loot crates a subscription box with nerd geek pop culture things. They're kind of interesting in that they have different types of nerd blocks. They have nerd block classic, which is what I got, mm -hmm. uh, which is just kind of pop culture uh, things. And then they have nerd block arcade, which is going to be uh, things like uh, video game based stuff. And then they have nerd block horror, which is horror genre things, movies, video games. And then they have nerd block junior, which is for kids. They have okay. a boy version, a girl version. So. Okay. Now, uh, Nerdblock does come from Canada, which means that uh, while it's the same price as uh, Loot Crate, mm -hmm. the shipping is going to cost an extra $10. Um, so that take that into account if you're going to be getting this. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in. Nerdblock always comes with a shirt. That's something they guarantee to you is every month they're going to get a shirt. Uh, their theme was Simon Pegg, so we have a Simon Pegg shirt. And that says something. A slice of fried gold. So yeah, it's a Shaun of the Dead, uh, Dead themed shirt. So I like it. Uh, I like Simon Pig and I love Shaun of the Dead. So this is definitely a shirt I'll be wearing. And to continue that theme, we've got his book right here. Yep. Yeah, Nerd Do Well. It says a small boy's journey to becoming a big kid. Um, so this is basically, is this his autobiography? Yeah, or? it's an autobiography by him. Um, okay. Including a book every month is something new that Nerdbox is going to be doing. So hmm. if you subscribe to them, you'll be getting a shirt and a book every month at least. And then it also comes with a Fumi, which is yep. like those other monies that we've got, only they are not pure white. They're mm -hmm. different colors. Let's, let's go ahead and open that up and find yeah, out what color this. we got there. So they can come in white, purple, blue, red, or yellow. This is kind of cool. Alright, <laughs> so... It's a Super Saiyan Fumi. So yeah, he's got a little tail. He's got cool hair. Yeah, this is fun. This is so much fun. Okay, so um, we have Mr. J's April Fool's Kit. And inside... Yeah. It's basically themed off of the Riddler. Or, I'm sorry, no, oh, sorry, that was way wrong. The Joker. <laughs> the Joker and uh, Mr. Freeze. So you've got a pair of ice cubes you could freeze in your freezer and put into your drinks, but it's made out of plastic, so it doesn't completely melt away. So you just get these little floating, they got bugs in them. Yeah, little flies kind of freak out somebody. <laughs> and then a whoopee cushion. Nice. Which has Harley Quinn on it. And she's like riding a little rocket. So, that's still cool. safe for work though. And alongside it, we also got this magnet that shows Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, and everybody got something a little different, different character from mm -hmm. the Guardians of the Galaxy movie with that. And on that same note, this was the exclusive item, wasn't it? Yes. Now, um, this is actually part of a, a little bit of a controversy going on. There we go. Uh, with. Uh, nerd block because this was supposed to be this really exclusive item but it ended up being it looks like it came from Dollar Tree yeah yeah that was something that a lot of people once they got it they were going to Twitter and kind of voicing their concern with uh, nerd block about how uh, they're advertising this month oh there's gonna be this Guardians of the Galaxy thing in there it's gonna include baby Groot and it's exclusive to us yada 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 so it's one of those nested dolls that you see and so you've got Groot Got Drax, Star Lord, Gamora, got down to Rocket. Now, inside is itty bitty bitty baby Groot. That thing is so tiny. Yes. That looks like a horse pill. Uh, and then it comes with a little preview of next month. So next month they're going to do a Ghostbusters theme. And it's going to have a, a vinyl. Yeah, they're including a vinyl um, figure of some sort from Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. So, and that's something they do too. Is like when you get your box, they're going to have like a little preview of next month, so you can kind of um, decide if you want to keep it or not. But yeah, are you thinking of getting the next one? Uh, 
No. Uh, next month um, is when Marvel's coming out with their Collector Core uh, box, uh, their volume box. Uh, it's their first month, so I'm actually uh, signed up for that, and I'm excited to check that out when that comes out next month. So let, let's compare this with, um, with with Loot Crate. We use that, we go for that a lot. Um, compared to Loot Crate, it's the same starting price, but more shipping and handling. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like you got your money's worth of the $20 for this? Uh, if it was just $20, yeah, I'd say yeah. I, I feel like this is adequate for 20 bucks. T-shirt, a uh, book that I'll probably read, and some little trotsky things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I say it's definitely worth twenty bucks. But since I live in America, it's costing an extra ten dollars to get here. Mm -hmm. and I know, like, yeah, shipping costs. But um, comparing to the other subscription boxes out there, I'm probably going to stick to other ones. Okay. Uh, one other thing that's really nifty is because it did come across country borders. It actually has a listing of all the different items and their value on here. Um, the shirt, it says that it, it's worth about 10 bucks everything else in the box looks like it's 20 uh, 240 is the magnet really worth 240 yeah uh there's a couple of things on there it's like is it really 240 and then to say the book yeah. is the value of that much as well is like it's a little whoa. weird really the book's only two I mean, bucks come on that's pretty simon pegg's autobiography has got to be worth more than i think it's like a ten dollar book yeah so there you go. That is Nerd Block. Um, yeah, maybe not like next it. time, but it was a nice try. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to try something different than Loot Crate, mm -hmm. I say this is something comparable. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, definitely something to check out. But for me personally, I'm not going to really stick around with it. All right. So there you go. And until next time, keep calm. Stay zany.